So what we're trying to introduce is we're trying to bring FaceTime to the lab as opposed to Polaroid snapshots. Uh -huh. And we're giving that window to both researchers, scientists, as well as to machine learning in order to decode those, these interactions. And like, as part of you can mention how like 97% of drugs the fail cancer drugs, yeah. in, in drug discovery. And a, a big percentage of this could be due to the fact that we don't have better measurement tools. We need better measurements in order to inform the insights and in order to inform everything that comes beyond that. And the reason why this is so shocking, for others it might sound boring, but actually you have to look at the state of the art in biology. We don't know the mechanisms of action for a lot of the drugs that we take into the body. In fact, for instance, with uh, retinol or something, we uh, use those uh, medications for, say, acne, and then they, they discovered in, uh, in the process of development that it's causing anti-aging. And that's how we figured out minoxidil was the same thing. It's like, wow, it's causing you to grow hair. You didn't know that. It wasn't a targeted approach.